our gander rocks comes in in the morning and turns our air on before we get here. So. So in today's video, I'm going to be taking you through my schedule on a normal day. Let's start off with breakfast. I always make an egg white omelet for breakfast, and this is how I do it. I take this little box, I just get it from our local grocery store, and use Tony's to season it right up. And as it's cooking, I normally hug on my babies and think about all the things that I probably should be doing right now. But I love an omelet. I don't know why. It just seems like it keeps me full until lunch. So I'm going to pull out some things, different things to start cutting up. The first thing I like to do is cut up spinach for my omelet. And I don't know, I like it real fine whenever it's in this. But I also like to take some tamed jalapenos so they're not too hot but I love spicy stuff so adding a little bit of spice is always a good idea for me and then the next step is to cut up a pepper and dice it pretty finely so it will you know fit in my omelet nice and neat add all this to the omelet as it cooks sorry about the computer issues and then of course no omelet would be complete without cheese and hot sauce right so as this is cooking, I am drinking my Eliano's coffee that my sweet husband went and got for me. That is kind of one of the traditions that we do almost every single morning is go get coffee together. If you have not tried this holy guacamole, then you are missing out. This stuff is delicious and it's 100 calories. Sometimes I add it to my omelet whenever I'm feeling extra saucy, but I don't always do that. So I flip it over and it is good to go. I usually eat breakfast on a paper plate, but this morning I felt like I had a little bit extra time where I could um, eat it out of a normal plate. I also drink coffee every morning. Diwali is my favorite. I use a Keurig and I have one thing of Splenda. And I love to use my favorite coffee mug, which is of a monkey because it makes me feel normal. So now it's on to fixing breakfast for, I mean, I'm sorry, fixing lunch for school. And I use this guacamole salsa bowl that my husband got me and all of these ingredients. And I'll walk you through the steps one by one. But the first thing I do is add just raw spinach to this big bowl. And then I like to add all of the ingredients. So of course you have to have cheese and green onions. And then I like to add this little salad glazed nut option I get from Walmart. I like to dice up the cherry tomatoes and throw them in there. And I always have mushrooms. Now I eat the same stuff for lunch every single day. And then I have uh, peppers and croutons. And this girl loves her some olives. I am not even gonna lie. So I always throw a bunch of olives in there and then I put the top on it. And then the last thing I eat for lunch every day, Monday through Friday, or Monday through Thursday usually, is albacore white tuna. I add it to this little bowl, add some Tony's, throw some olive oil mayonnaise on there, stir it up. And it's just a really good protein that I find to be very healthy. I feel my best whenever I eat this way and I eat this for lunch, not joking. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I know some of you are like, oh my gosh, that is disgusting. I like to use Olive Garden dressing because it's really low in calories. Sometimes I just use vinegar. This is what I use for a snack every day or most days whenever I'm being really healthy and good. And it's Shakeology. It's created by Beachbody. And Shakeology is just like a way that you have all of your vitamins and minerals into a shake. I'm also getting my crock pot out and getting ready for the evening. So this evening we'll be having roast. And I'll be going over all the steps whenever it's time to put the roast in there. But it's not time quite yet. Another thing that I love to do is plan my week with a calendar. And this is a calendar that we have on our refrigerator that's a magnet. So Sunday is gonna be August the 13th, Monday will be the 14th, and that's when we start our school week. So this will be our very first day of school. And I'm gonna write that on the calendar. And I also like to write when we have what we're gonna eat for the evening and what my workout is gonna be. So I don't know if you saw the calendar underneath this calendar that was my workout calendar, but I try to get really good with my schedule whenever school starts back. So the first thing I'm gonna write is what workout I'm going to do, and today it happens to be with Court of Force, and it's called MMA Speed. And then we're gonna, of course, have Rose tonight, which you already saw, but I'm gonna speed this part up so you don't get totally bored watching me write all the days of the week on this. Something I always do with my boys is create these cute little signs that I found on Teachers Pay Teachers for the first day of school. And I've done this since they were in pre-K, but I place them in front of their lunch box. These are their little lunch boxes that I got from TJ Maxx this year. And their Under Armour book bags I found at Dick's Sporting Goods. But they each hold up their sign. And if you follow me on Instagram, it's Casey Morris. 
teaching on less, then you can see the pictures of their first days of school. So their book bags are ready to go with all of their supplies and it was the night before the first day of school. All right, a few more things I need to get done before school starts back is make sure all of my laundry is caught up. I, there is nothing that I hate more than having to do laundry and everything whenever school has started back in. So I made sure I washed my boys' blankets and their towels and all of their clothes and my clothes as well just to get ready for the first day of school. And now it is time to get myself ready. And I just kind of did a quick run through of what I do, but I've got a little bit of my makeup on, drinking my coffee, and I am curling my hair. I have a get ready with me video that you can also find on my channel. If you'll just check that out, if you would like to see how and what products I use. And this one's a little bit different than my get ready with me video. I used a wand on this day and I shouldn't have, I should have used my curling iron because with the 110% humidity that is available in South Georgia, my hair was done by probably a p.m. I'm sorry 8 a.m. so you know whatever so I'm finishing up my makeup and going over the same steps like I said you can check out in the get ready with me video I like to check social media while I'm getting ready that's kind of how I get back to all of my fans it's really hard to balance everything in life as I'm sure you totally understand being a teacher and a mom and a youtuber and a TPT -er. there's just so many things that I have to get done in such a short amount of time that I feel like I'm stretched so thin sometimes so one way that I can kind of multitask is putting my makeup on and checking social media all at the same time so I make sure that I have enough time in my morning where I can balance all of those things so we're almost finished getting ready I've got all of my coffee down and I'm really excited about that but after I leave here I went and grabbed another coffee and as you'll be able to see in just a few minutes I was caffeined up on the first day of school I got to the point where I was like okay I need to sit down and drink some water so we're wrapping up the hair and the makeup and we're getting ready to go oh I was also showing you guys that I was logging all of my food I use the my fitness pal app to log all of my food and all of the calories that I will consume for the day it is a wonderful free app if you don't have it if you do, you can just add me. It's Casey Morris and we can be friends. We can see what each other, our food logs and how well we are doing with our diet. I like to stay about 1,200 to 1,250 calories a day. If I exercise, I definitely will have more just because I feel my best self when I am eating healthy and I am exercising as often as possible. All right, and the next thing is getting our food ready. So as I showed you earlier, we're gonna throw that roast in and I'm gonna go through the little steps that you need in order to get this ready. So you put these different types of soup in. There's cream of, there's cream of celery and there's cream of mushroom and there's also French onion soup. And then I like to throw in these au jus packets. I used to use two, but now I only use one because I feel like it kind of gets super salty if you use more than one. And I turn it on low and leave it there for the majority of the day. So that is what we will have for dinner and it ended up being absolutely amazing. We are now in the home stretch right before we walk out the door for the first day of school. I'm packing my backpack like always. I've got my Fiji waters. I've got all of the stuff that I prepared and I'm chatting with you guys so I will stop talking. It's literally like two minutes before the students get here. I'm putting schedules on desk and playing some chill music. connections. I've had too much caffeine. I'm like ADD like crazy right now, but homeroom went well. I only had a little bit of sass, so you know, can't complain about that. I am going to send an email right now about a schedule change because if I don't, I will forget. The student had my class had ELA twice and then no social studies. All right.
night. So I have schedules. I put numbers on all of the desk and I need to start drinking my water. I left my snack at home. Got attendance done. Only a little bit of sass so far. That's pretty good. All right. I will see you guys on the other side probably. Well, I survived the first day. Tired does not even begin to describe the way that I feel. My children, we just got home. Um, it is smelling like heaven in here. Got the roast going and it should be ready to go for tonight. And check it out. Yes. And I'm not really sure what I'm gonna cook with it just yet, but I'll figure all that out later. I am, I said I was working out today, so I am about to go change into my workout stuff. It's about 4.20, changing the workout clothes. I'm gonna get my workout in with Beachbody On Demand for Core to Force. It's only 26 minutes today, so I tell myself, like, you can do anything for 26 minutes. So I'm gonna do that. I might film some of it. That should be hilarious. And, um, you know, we've almost wrapped up this first day of school. I have enjoyed taking you guys along for the ride. It was actually really a good, don't want my trash, I gotta take it out. It was a really good day. Had a few sassy ones, but you know, that's to be expected. So, really good day. I'm just tired, and I know you understand the struggle. The first, like, two weeks of school were, like, just wore out. So, um, yeah, I'll have this video up for you, I hope, soon, and I will check you guys when I'm working out. So, I was going to try to do my workout without this, but I just don't think it's going to be possible. So, this is by Beachbody 2, and this is like a pre-workout. So, I'm going to just take probably half of it, and then, um, hopefully I feel like getting to work because this girl is tired. I do not do this the way that most people do this. I take it, it's a little scoop like this, and instead of pouring it in a drink, I can't work out when I have a drink like slosh around my stomach. I just pour it in my mouth. See my face right now. I'm so tired. Hey there, Jericho and John here, and this is MMA Speed. Full of boxing and kickboxing inspired combos. So, what do you say? You ready to get warm? Yeah, I think we should. So, let's start by jogging in place. We're marching in place, and marching in place, we got Jessica checking out the modification and all the alternative options throughout this workout. So what we want to do is spend the next couple of minutes getting the body warm, getting the blood pumping, the muscles warm, because, man, once we start round one, it doesn't stop. It never stops until the bell rings. All right, pulsing side to side. Go ahead and open up your chest. Bring your elbows back behind your body, and then squeeze into your chest as you bring them back in. Nice. How you feeling, Jay? I'm feeling awesome. Ready yeah. to work out. It's going to be fun. Learning a lot of cool things throughout this workout, and this is the best part, is you get to keep progressing. As you learn more, you go faster. That's right. Yeah. All right, so here we go. Shoulder rolls. Open them up. Big rolls forward. Open up your chest, your shoulders, your upper back. we got to get everything warm. Not trying to hold my hand, Jay. Sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, hit the body system. Roll it back. That's not a big time. All right, just a couple more. Okay, get the legs warm, so let's try to get some toes out. Check this out. Alternate leg, reach it up with your opposite hands. Now, hamstrings, that's the back of your leg. So, depending on your flexibility, you may be starting a little bit lower. That's okay. We're going to think about lifting the chest up and toe tap. There we go. Nice. Just a couple more. One more either side. 
and then hip openers. Watch this. Me is going to come in. So I don't think I'm going to wrap up the people. Give me some more money. 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 Give me some more money.